are we on? It's been so long since I've used this. There's dust everywhere. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video. It's been a long time, but today I thought I'd do a video that I've been asked for many times. Maybe once, twice. What spray paint I use? So here is the ones I use. So I thought I'd quickly go through them. Not a massive review or anything, just if they're good or not. First, you split them up for me into two sections. You have the normal spray paints, which you know you spray, quick drying, then the acrylic ones, which are here, which are slow drying, non-toxic, they don't make you choke. You can use it inside, blah, 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 blah. So let's just go through the first lot, normal spray paint. There are many brands out there. Some are better for graph writing, some are better for stenciling, some are better for shading. I'm literally gonna talk just from my experience. So the ones I use the most are these two. These nowadays are my bread and butter. They are the Belton Molotov Premium and the MTN 94. These two are the ones that I use the most. Why? These ones, because they have a massive color range, 257, something like that. Huge, huge color range. Um, they are high pressure, which you don't normally use in the stencil work I do, but I, I really like these ones. This is the one I use the most. You'll see this one the most in my videos. So Belton Molotov. These work out about, I got the prices today of all of these, sort of live prices. Um, so this is just like one on the internet this morning just to see what these are. Um, most of these prices off Graph City buy a couple which I, they don't sell for good reason. <laughs> so the Molotov Bell Times work out about £4 a can. I mean it's bloody expensive stuff. Spray paint is expensive, you can't get away from that. About £4 a can. This stuff I use all the time. I love the colour range. I love the caps. I love that it comes with this top. I don't, I hate this top. This top is annoying because that comes off and to break that bit off and you just smack it down so you can tell what colour it is. The tops are bloody annoying. But my go-to paint. Second go-to paint is the MTN94. This is uh, a low pressure one, which is a bit easier to control. Um, they don't have anywhere near the same colour range as these guys, but what I really like about them is they have the more muted colours. I always look at the Belton as like the pop colours. These are the muted colours. So any um, skin tones or anything like that you see of mine, I'll be using the 94s. Um, I do find these clog a lot more than these, um, but most people swear by these, and I do really like them. Just wish the colour range was a bit bigger. They, at the moment, when I looked this morning, were £4.25 a can, which is very expensive, but these two are usually roughly the same. Now, we'll go on to the ones which I still really like, but I don't use as much, um, and that is the Montanas, the Montana Gold, and the Montana Black. What's the difference between these two? Um, this one is a higher pressure and is really hard wearing. This is the stuff you'll use for tagging. This one, lower pressure, not as hard wearing. I don't use this one very much. It's very, very glossy and not really my style, but very good paint if you want that. They are about, let me see how much was that this morning? £4.20, so about the same price. Montana Gold, these are about £4.50. These have always been, when I started, the more expensive paint. They used to be way more expensive. They used to, get, used to be able to get these for like three pound. These were still five pound-ish. So I didn't use these as much, but the Beltons and the 94s, their prices have gone up to about the same as the 94s now, uh, sorry, as the Golds. So now I like this stuff. I'm using this more and more and more, and I can see it replacing these. Their color range is nowhere near as big as Beltons. I think it's a bit smaller than MTNs, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this paint is beautiful to use, low pressure, really easy to control, um, really nice. I would highly recommend any of these guys. So the Belton 94, the Montana Gold, Montana Blacks if you want more of a high wearing paint. Great paint. Now we're on to the ones that are iffy. Iron Lac. Uh, Iron Lac is 2 99 The cheapest of the paints. This is the cheapest of all these paints you'll see here. I don't actually mind iron lac. It's very glossy, it drips quite badly, and I think for graph writing you probably like it, um, but for fine art it's a bit too glossy, a bit too quaggy. <laughs> um, I don't like using this stuff, um, but if you want a cheap paint to start out with, go for the iron lac. Next is the Cobra. Now this is a paint I never used, but at a painting event they gave it to us for free. 
uh, high pressured, very glossy. Uh, price is £3.40. Again, a cheaper paint on the cheap side. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of this stuff. Um, again, a bit too glossy. Um, it's a bit too runny. Um, this will run out quite quickly compared to the big ones. Um, and it's not the best smelling, but for, for filling in and covering, I use this a lot for covering, you know, if I've got a figure and then behind the wall is all black or what have you, I'll use these to fill it. So it's not the worst paint, not the best paint, but um, I'd say it's about the same as the Iron Lac. Iron Lac's cheaper, so probably go for that. Then we've got this one, Loop. Now, I'd never seen this paint before in my life till I was at a paint festival again, and they gave us some of this for free. This stuff, smells so bad i cannot even explain it is the most toxic smelling paint i've ever used it works out at three pound thirty a tin it's awful to use horrible smell drips glossy crap don't ever use this stuff i've never used it I'm, i've just got it here because i got it for free this stuff's horrible let's recap the ones the beltons really nice lovely color range love using it nine to four Great paint, lovely colour range, wish it was a bit bigger, really nice for the muted tones, really nice for shading, more of a fine art colour range. Gold, beautiful to use, low pressure, used to be really, really expensive compared to the rest. They're all about the same price now, so I would use this stuff. The Montana Gold, really hard wearing, glossier, more of a writer's can, a tagger can, but nice paint. I like Cobra, I put these both about the same. Uh, very glossy, much cheaper, bit drippy, hard to work to use with stencils if you do stencils. I wouldn't turn my nose up at these, but if I had the choice I'd use the other ones, but they're not that bad. Loop, just avoid, avoid, chuck it away. I, I mean, I would chuck it away, but it'd probably explode everywhere. Then you've got the acrylic, acrylic based stuff, I should say. These ones are okay to spray inside. They don't have the agent that makes them dry quickly. Uh, you can breathe, it's absolutely fine, they don't make you choke, but they're very slow drying and they're very expensive. There are three that I know of. Uh, Montana, which I don't have any of, and then these two, which I have lots of. We have the Liquitex, which comes in. That's the old Liquitex, that's the new Liquitex. Liquitex, uh, acrylic spray paint, and then the MTN, the same people who make the 94. These are not great, they're, they're hard work to use. They are not like using this, they're not a substitute because they're so different to use. So I wouldn't look at these as a substitute for them, you have to learn how to use them a different way. Saying that, let's talk about the better of the two, the MTM. This stuff is really nice actually. It's really nice to use once you learn how to use it. Um, it's odor's really good, the colours are really nice, it's a very um, matty acrylic looking paint and it comes out really nice. It is difficult to use, which I keep saying, for me anyway, anyway, I find it much harder to use, especially with stencils because it's slow drying therefore it starts bleeding. The other problem with the acrylic stuff is this is expensive. This one here is £5.50, £5.35 actually, which is insanely expensive for a can the size of my hand. Um, but if you're going to use water-based paint, use this stuff, because the other stuff is the liquid mix stuff. There are no words to say how unbelievably shit this stuff is. It is awful. I have gallons and gallons of it because I've got it given to me at an event. Uh, artist friends of mine have given me theirs because they hate it so much. This stuff is one, it's about nine pound a tin. Nine pound. There's loads of up there. I'm looking up there. I'll show you in a minute. There's loads of up there. Nine pound a tin. It clogs like you would not believe. It takes forever to dry. Um, little air bubbles come up in the paint. It drips. It's tacky. The colours are really bad. This stuff is just absolute garbage. I mean, absolute garbage. Liquitex, I find, make great products or garbage products. There's, there's no middle ground. This stuff is garbage. Uh, avoid, avoid, avoid. Don't ever buy this stuff. I would recommend the loop over this stuff. Yes, it does have a smell, but it's garbage. Don't ever use it. Anyway, I hope this was useful in some way. Um, let me know if you've used any of these products and what you think of them, um, which ones you use, which ones you prefer, and um, it'd be good to have a conversation. Anyway, I'm sorry it's been so long since I made a video. I hope this one was somewhere handy. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.